Hello everyone, uh, my name is Virginia Murphy and I'm going to walk you guys through um, the testing site at Charlottesville for our May testing for Virginia Virtual. Um, we are at the English Inn of Charlottesville at 200 Morton Drive in Charlottesville. And you can see here the image uh, to the left um, in case you're a visual, uh, have a visual memory. Um, I am your site lead for this location. Um, there will be um, normally two other teachers here every week as well. Um, if you need if, if you need anything or have any questions, my name is Virginia Murphy again, and my email is vmurphy at vavirtual.org. So a little bit about this location. Um, parents, there's a really wonderful lobby and waiting area down below, and they advertise having uh, some tea out for every for people and like cookies and snacks as well. Um, so it's a nice comfortable space for you guys to wait during the test. Um, at the testing area, I actually couldn't find an image of the room, but I know that it is quite large, but it is on the second floor and I believe it's called the Queen Anne room. And it has nice natural lighting as well as a sort of mini lobby area up above. It's right off the elevators as well. And you can actually see down to the railing out to the front doors. Um, the expectations for our test is we start on the dot, so if the time says 9, we will start the test at 9. However, if you come late, of course, we will still accept you into the test, and we'll, we'll catch you up on the instructions at um, depending on where we are in the testing process. Um, you can bring a snack and some water or another beverage. Um, if it's particularly loud or something, we might ask the student to snack on it outside of the room. Um, Please remember that there are no phones or smart watches during the test event and to make sure to turn those to silent during the test as well. Every time there is a buzz or um, a, a call that happens during the course uh, test, we actually have to write that down and submit that and there is a risk that all the students in the room would have to take the test again. So we do take this very seriously. Um, you, of course, I'm going to put it in a clear bucket in a visible space so you can see your phone at all times. Um, but you cannot access it during the test or during a break if you choose to take a break. Um, so moving on from there, um, all materials will be supplied for the tester. So you don't have to bring anything if you don't want to. No pencil, no pen, uh, anything like that. Everything will be supplied for you for your test. Um, if you know that there is something out of the norm that is required, please let me know and I'll make sure um, that if it's approved, of course, your student will receive that. Um, the sign in and sign out procedure, you guys probably did this or at least saw some emails about it. If you did the preview testing, you might uh, know about it too. Um, there is a form that we need parents to sign and hand over as to who is approved to pick up the student. Um, and then every day, um, the parent signs the student in, and parent or whoever is approved can sign the student out. Now, if your student is driving, so at 16 or older, and you approve to drive, um, they can, with your permission, sign themselves out as well. Um, so in case you're wondering about that, if your uh, student has that ability. And lastly, uh, parents, please stay for the test. Um, normally, these tests only go for about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, you know if your student is a longer tester by now, especially working from home. Um, so if you know your student is obviously a longer tester, I understand that. But uh, it's rare that students take, you know, more than an hour and a half, other than on the math SOLs. So we ask you to please stay and enjoy that lobby downstairs. Um, you're welcome to go for a walk or something. But uh, if you do leave, you know, please leave a way for your student to contact you as well. Um, should you need to change anything, so if uh, this testing location you know will not work or the time will not work um, and you absolutely know that ahead of time, um, uh, there's a job, here's the job aid of this, but I can also attach this as well. So um, you're going to click on the link right next to that testing site where it has like a check on X and you're going to circle an X and this is if you need to change something and then leave a note 
down here in the bottom. And then just let me know if you have a change that needs to be made. You'll have to tell me what that change is. And I'll make sure to let the region lead know um, so that we can get you the right testing location and time and space. All right. So if you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know. Once again, my name is Virginia Murphy, and I look forward to seeing you guys on Tuesdays or Wednesdays at the English in Charlottesville.